everyone. Welcome to part four of the Corner to Corner Baby Blanket. I am so excited and so ready to finish our blanket today by putting the border around our blanket. So if you're ready, grab your hooks, grab your blanket, grab your yarn, your scissors, and your darning needle, and I will meet you over at the craft table. So for this blanket today, I am going to add the Bernat Baby Coordinates white yarn to my blanket for the border. It is also a light three weight yarn just like the cotton candy was or is. This is a five ounce skein, 140 grams, approximately 457 yards. And just like the cotton candy, it is 71.2% acrylic, 25.6% rayon, and 3.2% nylon. And I got this skein from Michaels on April 20th, or excuse me, April of this year. I don't know the exact date. It's normally $5.29, and I got this skein for $2.97. So... I'm going to put that out the way and I'm going to just pick any corner of my blanket and I'm going to go in and attach my yarn and you do that however you feel comfortable. Once you have your yarn detached, we are simply going to just do single crochets all the way around our baby blanket to give it a starter edge. I am going to work my tail in as I go. So we're just going to simply go in to all the stitches that we can to just create a nice even single crochet border around. And when you've worked your tail in far enough, if, if you're working your tail in now and not weaving it in later, then you can go ahead and trim the rest of it off. And you're just going to keep working around the blanket and you'll just have to kind of look for the openings. And you just want to kind of evenly space those single crochets across the blanket. And just kind of give it that nice little edging. Once you have gone around the blanket once with single crochets, we're going to do it a second time. So go ahead and work around your blanket two complete rounds doing single crochets and I will meet you back when our blanket is two rows of single crochets around. And you can see how that two rows of single crochet gave that a nice little border to stand out. So now we're going to add a little bit of a fancy accent. Just a look at the blanket a little bit. You can see it, but now we're going to add a little bit of a fancy border to it, or edging to it. Got our border, now we're going to do a little fancy edging. So I have done the last single crochet, and I'm just going to come right into this first single crochet with a slip stitch join it and round it off. Then we're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. This chain three will count as a double crochet. We're going to do two more double crochets right into that same stitch. So there's one and two. 
Now we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. And we're going to do what's called a peacoat stitch. A lot of times when the peacoat stitch is done, you go in to the back loop of the stitch, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to come down into the front. See how when you make your double crochets, you know, you've got your little V's on the top, you've got your back loop and your front loop. Well, we're going to come down into that last double crochet into the front loop, and then we're going to push through the side loop as well. We're going to yarn over and pull that loop through and then slip stitch it into that loop. And that actually created our little peacoat. But we're going to do three double crochets into that same stitch as well. One, oops, two, and three. And there's our little corner, and our little peacoat sticking up nice and straight. Okay, hopefully you can see that. All right, so into this next single crochet, we are just going to work a single crochet. A single crochet into the next one. And then into the next single crochet, we're going to work three double crochets. So one. Two, three. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And again, we're going to insert our hook into this front loop straight through to the side loop. And hopefully, you can see that. So it puts two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, and we're going to slip stitch into that top one. Then do three double crochets into that same stitch. One, two, and three. And that's what our blanket is starting to look like. All right, into the next two stitches, we're going to work a single crochet. And now we're going to work three double crochets into this next stitch. So one, two, three. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. And I'm going to try and get closer so you can see really well what I'm talking about. All right, so here's our chain three. This is the front loop, and that's of the third double crochet. So see, we did one double crochet, two, and three. This is the front loop of that double crochet. So we're going to put our hook into that front loop and we're going to go straight over to this side loop right here and yarn over, pull up a loop and slip stitch it in and work three double crochets into that same stitch. One, two, and three. Single crochet into the next one. Single crochet into the next one. Three half double crochets into the next one. One. Two. And three chain three, one, two, three, and again we're going to come into the top 
of that double crochet and then we're going to slip right over into the side loop yarn over pull up a loop I got that little silver loop there all right and then slip stitch in and then work three double crochets into that same stitch one two and three and let's go ahead and work our individual single crochets into the next two stitches and then I will show you how this edging is starting to look and it's just giving it a nice kind of frilly thick heavy border and edging and now you can actually in between each one you can do as many single crochets as you want in between if you want to um, you know separate them a little bit and space them out a little bit more I can show you what that would look like so right here we've done two single crochets one in each for spacing and let's even do three and four so our spacing is four and then do three double crochets and chain three one two three and then slip into that top loop and the side loop yarn over pull through slip stitch and do three double crochets one two and three and you can even do a treble instead of a double crochet if you want it there if you wanted it to be even a little bit longer you know in the body of it here all right and then now let's do a single crochet into the next four stitches one two three four the nice thing about your borders and your edging I mean you can play around with it and create a number of different ways of doing it and three double crochets one two and three and we're going to chain three one two three we're going to come right down in this top loop through the side loop yarn over pull through slip stitch and three double crochets and one two and three oops And we'll work one more so you can get a good feel of what it looks like spaced out with four as a space and you can do three you can do five I mean you can space it however many you want so that was four single crochets and now we're going to do three double crochets this is kind of more like a scallop peacoat And now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and slip or go down into that top loop, front loop, out the side, yarn over, pull up a loop, slip stitch, and three more double crochets. One. Two and three and then let's work our four single crochets for our spacers one 
two, three, and four. And now you can see what it looks like spaced out a little bit more, where it's not sitting quite on top of one another. So, and you can see it kind of changes up the look a little bit, but either way, that looks nice. So you've got the ge general basic idea of how to do like this scallop pea coat. And so you just decide how many spaces you want in between. You can also decide if you want to do half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet um, in there for your scallop. And then you just create your, your edging. So go ahead and work that all the way around the blanket and I will meet back up with you when we get to the end here and we'll finish our blanket off. So when you come back and you are meeting back up with where you began and you've done your last single crochet, we are going to go just into the top of this first double crochet and we're going to slip stitch to join and then we're going to just fasten off and weave in our tail. And that completes the border and the edging on our baby blanket. So go ahead and cut off your tail and weave it in. And I'll meet you back and we'll take a look at our final project. And here is our final blanket. All done with the border on. That is beautiful. And we're going to see if we can zoom in here. And look at the border up close. That just came out really, really pretty. And then here is a quick glance at our set together with the baby sweater, the baby bonnet, the booties, and the blanket. And I think that came out just beautiful. Love those colors together. Well, that ends our tutorial for the border slash edging on our corner to corner blanket. If you had fun making this blanket and enjoyed this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if you've not done so already, please hit subscribe so you don't miss the next upcoming work along series with us or any future tutorials or videos. And until next time, be joyful, stay crafty in your own way, and make your own joyful creations and just let the creativity flow.